In this tutorial, I will discuss a problem of planes. In this problem, the surface inclination is given in an indirect way. Now the problem is something like this. An isosceles triangle of 30 mm base and 70 mm altitude is seen as an equilateral triangle in the front view and its base is making an angle of 30 degrees with HP. That is the problem. That means when the isosceles triangle is seen as uh, equilateral in the equilateral triangle in the front view means we can understand that the surface is making an angle with uh, VP. So here surface is inclined to VP that you have to understand because isosceles triangle is appeared as an equilateral triangle or circle is seen as a ellipse seen as an ellipse in the front view then automatically you can understand that the surface is inclined to VP or a rectangle is seen as a square then also you can understand that the surface is inclined to VP in the front view means suppose the same problem the isosceles triangle is appeared as an equilateral triangle in the top view means you can understand that now it is inclined to HP so when the true shape is appeared as a reduced shape in the front view means the surface is inclined to VP or when the true shape is appeared as a different reduced shape in the top view means the surface is inclined to HP in that way you have to extract the information which is given indirectly with respect to the shape of the plane now edge edge inclination is directly given it is some 30 degrees to HP okay now we will see how to draw this problem in the simple position you can now understand that uh, simple position will be something like this simple in the simple position you will get the true shape and size in the front view so you have to start from the front view from the front view you have to draw the top view okay now I will take the xy line something like this this is the xy line I will draw the isosceles triangle in the front view of 30 side and the 70 altitude like this this is the isosceles triangle a dash b dash and c dash in the front view and its top view will be something like this it is some distance in front of vp this edge is not in the vp that's why we are not getting the true shape on the xy line this is a comma b this point is c this is the top view now this is appeared as a collateral triangle the in the second stage whatever front you are going to get after tilting the top view that shape is given in this problem actually you have to tilt it by projecting it you have to get the reduced shape here but th this reduced shape is given that is nothing but a collateral triangle draw the projections like this somewhere here you take a dash b dash now this length is 30 same 30 as radius draw one arc from a dash and one more arc from b dash then you will get c dash now this is the equilateral triangle now from this front view you have to draw the top view now while drawing the top view this point is nothing but a comma b now c point will lie on this projector at some distance how to get that distance is this particular length 70 is known to you when you are tilting the surface that 70 will make some angle here but the true length you can see in the top view so take this 70 as radius a as center a comma b as center draw an arc then you will get c point this is the angle phi which the surface is making with respect to vp in the third stage what you have to do this particular edge a dash b dash is making an angle 30 degrees so draw a 30 degree line this is a dash this is b dash 
reconstruct it from a dash draw an arc of 30 from b dash draw an arc of 30 here you will get c dash after reconstructing this draw the projectors from here draw the locus line this point is a extend this somewhere here you will get b draw the projector from c dash locus line from c this point is c now a b c this is the final top view Okay.